a trial that the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, which is the institute I direct, sponsored, called the Adaptive Covirus Disease Treatment Trial, or ACCT-1, was started in February 21st uh, of this year. And it was a randomized placebo-controlled trial comparing the Gilead drug remdesivir with a placebo. It was highly powered with about 1,090 plus individuals. So it is the first truly high-powered randomized placebo-controlled trial. It was an international trial involving multiple sites, not only in the United States, but in various country, countries throughout the world, including Germany, Denmark, Spain, Greece, the UK, et cetera. The primary endpoint was the time to recovery, namely the ability to be discharged. When you have a study like this, we have a data and safety monitoring board which looks at the data. And they are independent, so there's no prejudice on the part of the investigators because they're doing the trial or the drug is from a certain company. The Data and Safety Monitoring Board on Monday afternoon contacted me on April 27th, first on Friday, the week before, and then again on April 27th, and notified the study team, namely the multiple investigators who are doing the study throughout the world, that the data shows that remdesivir has a clear-cut significant positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. This is really quite important for a number of reasons, and I'll give you the data. It's highly significant. If you look at the time to recovery being shorter in the remdesivir arm, it was 11 days compared to 15 days. And that's a p-value for the scientists who are listening of 0 0.001. So that's something that, although a 31% improvement doesn't seem like a knockout 100%. It is a very important proof of concept because what it is proven is that a drug can block this virus. And I'll give you an example in a moment of why we think looking forward, this is very optimistic. The mortality rate trended towards being better in the sense of less deaths in the remdesivir group. 8% versus 11% in the placebo group. It has not yet reached statistical significance, but the data needs to be further analyzed. The reason why we're making the announcement now is something that I believe people don't fully appreciate. Whenever you have clear-cut evidence that a drug works, you have an ethical obligation to immediately let the people who are in the placebo group know so that they could have access. And all of the other trials that are taking place now have a new standard of care. So we would have normally waited several days until the data gets further, the dot the I and cross the T, but the data are not gonna change. Some of the numbers may change a little, but the, but the conclusion will not change. 